Hi, I'm Keith Weinhold and this is Get Rich Education. What we're going to discuss today is why inflation does not rise as fast as the rate of your monthly cash flow when you buy a rental property. Cash flow is the money that you feel in your pocket every month from your rent property's income. So that's the income minus all of the expenses. Inflation is the diminished purchasing power of the dollar over time, which results in you paying more for the same stuff. So to take a look at an example of how your cash flow beats inflation over time is with this example. Let's say you buy a $100,000 rental property. You put a 20% down payment on the property and you get a 30 year fixed interest rate loan at a 5% interest rate. So when you buy that rental property, that rents for $1,000 a month. That's what the tenant pays you. And you need to subtract out all of your expenses until you get to your bottom line cash flow. An easy way to remember all of these expenses after the mortgage is with the acronym VIMTM, V-I-M-T-M, Vacancy, Insurance, Maintenance, Taxes, and Management. So how did I come up with these? For vacancy, I used $80 per month, which is about 8%, it's exactly 8% of your rent amount, because that represents one month per year that the unit is going to be vacant. Your vacancy, your insurance at uh, $90 per month, that's a pretty conservative number. We're going to say your maintenance, your property taxes, and your property management are each 10% of your rent income each month. And these costs, these VIMTIM expenses, add up to a total of $470 per month. Now let's look at what inflation does to this example over time. Let's fast forward three years. And over those three years, let's say there's a total 10% rate of inflation, and that's going to be represented by the green. Our rent increases by 10%, so now we have an $1,100 rent income. However, over time, most of our expenses also increase at that same rate of inflation, at that 10% over three years, except for the mortgage, and that's the key. You have a fixed interest rate mortgage, so your principal and interest payment stays the same three years later. However, your other expenses, they increase at that 10% inflation rate, or $517. So let's see how this looks and how this adds up over time. You take your rent income of $1,100, subtract the same $430, subtract the $517, and now your cash flow after three years is $153. So $53 might be difficult for you to get excited about, but consider that your cash flow just increased at a rate of 53%, while inflation only increased at a rate of 10%. So your cash flow wins more than fivefold over the rate of inflation. And this is just with one property that provides just a small cash flow of $100. As you go ahead and purchase more properties, you're gonna notice how you're able to 10X this as you get more and more profitable properties and your monthly cash flow goes from $1,000 to $1,530. Or you will 100X this over time as you get more and larger properties. So your $10,000 of cash flow in that case would go to 15,300 and this effect really becomes significant. So, you know, in the past, you might have looked at inflation as something that negatively impacted you. However, you found a way with fixed interest rate debt to make inflation actually benefit you as you will get paid more over time. If you'd like wealth building lessons like this, you can go to GetRichEducation.com where you can look at a lot of resources and learn about the Get Rich Education weekly podcast that I appear on on iTunes and iHeartRadio. My name's Keith Weinhold. Thank you so much for stopping by.